Hello everyone! So this for this episode of Vlogmas, I just wanted to make a kind of informational video. Um, the New Year's coming up, a lot of people are going to be getting into um, trying to be healthy, and um, a lot of people have questions about keto specifically. I'm not a doctor, but I can tell you based on my two years of experience and 95 pounds lost, um, what I think and my view on the whole thing. So. Um, the different ways that you can follow me are on Instagram, I have a Facebook group called Just Keto Mama, and um, definitely my YouTube channel, so make sure that you go down, give me a thumbs up, press that bell icon so you can see when I have new videos come out, and subscribe to the channel. That would just support me so much. So today I wanted to talk about the differences between clean keto and dirty keto because somebody asked um, that on my Facebook group. So here we go. So clean keto is um, more of like a whole food approach. It's still focusing on high protein, low carb, um, maybe higher in fat depending on the way that you do the keto diet. Um, but clean keto, basically all it means is that you're focusing on like whole ingredients, nutrient dense foods, so like low carb vegetables, um, like rain, free range eggs, grass fed beef, um, some people are like very particular about it. If you watch Thomas DeLaller, he talks about the difference between grass fed and grass finished. Um, and then there's dirty keto, which is kind of like focusing on more on um, more like processed foods, foods that are like easy to grab and go, low carb tortillas, low carb bread, um, you know, even some dirty keto, they, I think they call it, or lazy keto. Um, you know, but you're eating um, a lot more highly processed foods. There's, you know, alternative sugars, there's salt, you know, um, so a lot of those foods might be lacking more nutrients. So um, I don't like to necessarily say that I'm following like dirty clean, dirty keto or clean keto. It might just depend on the day for me. So I don't necessarily like breaking it down into those terms. Um, I eat a lot of vegetables, I eat a lot of protein, but I last night I made um, pumpkin cheesecake swirl brownies, so um, I don't necessarily like to break it down into dirty versus clean. Um, there's an array of ways that you can do the keto diet, you can do total carbs, you can do net carbs. The difference between total and net carbs is um, that total carbs you just take into account the carb count and that's it um, net carbs you would be doing um, carbs minus um, dietary fiber and alternative sugars so that's where you can get into that territory of like um, a lot of the junk food um, a lot of the breads you'll see like they're like 19 carbs but minus 18 grams of fiber I'm just making that up but, um, you know, they're highly inflated, a lot of highly processed stuff in them. So, um, while I do have those foods from time to time, I try to stay away from that. Especially now because I have lost so much weight, I do have to be a little bit stricter on um, what I'm eating per se. And um, I just try to eat a lot of more whole foods because I feel so good when I get veggies in. Um, if you're just starting out, I would try to recommend going more clean. Um, you don't necessarily have to do free range and grass fed and even though it does have its benefits. Um, you know, I think the most important thing is just doing what is maintainable for you, what you can afford. And um, over time, your taste buds will change. So, like the brownies that I made last night, they had a lot of dark chocolate in them. So they were definitely a stronger taste. In the beginning, I would have told you that dark chocolate was extremely nasty and I would never eat dark chocolate. However, over time, when your body is getting used to not having the sugar, your body adjusts to that and the sweet things... Um, 
become like too sweet like well now when I eat cookies or cakes I feel like so jittery and sugary and um, you know I really appreciate the things that have the lower sugar that just give me that fix um, but if you're just starting out I would recommend trying to go more towards the clean side um, and just try to do more whole foods fruits veggies protein um, I don't even like necessarily emphasizing the fat because a lot of people get stuck on that fat that you need so much fat um, but given my blood work and the way that it came back um, you know I think that the way that I do the keto diet is very sustainable for me and I would love to help anybody else who has any other questions about it um, and again it's like a matter of being healthy so if you make the changes that you need to make and you let your taste buds adjust to do that clean eating um, your body's gonna thank you and you know just being healthy in general I think there's all kinds of different goals for being healthy and that's really important to take into account and not necessarily labeling everything so much so if you take away anything I hope that you'll just focus on eating a lot of um, like nutrient dense, dense foods, fruit, um, not necessarily fruits because I don't eat a ton of fruits, but definitely vegetables, definitely protein. Um, I saw a study the other day that said if you eat a diet of 30% highly processed foods that you are more likely to get Alzheimer's and other um, health effects. So. That was pretty shocking, like only 30%. Think about like how, like I know before I started the keto how processed my diet was. I would say it was probably 80 or 90% processed food. So just keep that in mind. Don't be too hard on yourselves. Keep going. If you have something that's, you know, on your plan, but you're not like if you if you have something that you want to eat try to find the healthy alternative um you know sometimes i'm craving a bagel and i have the keto friendly bagels from all these um but you know in general i try to eat healthy and clean and whatever that means to you i hope that you follow whatever plan you need to to be healthy and happy and enjoy your holiday season so I hope that you guys are all enjoying Vlogmas right now, and if you have a question, let me know below, and I'll try to make a video as soon as I can. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day.